For this experiment, we will examine the effect of two different temperatures on the respiration rate and metabolic rate of mung beans that has been grown in the dirt. For this experiment, we will need a lab quest mini, an oxygen sensor, a biochamber, your water bath, and some mice for temperature adjustment, and of course, the mung bean. This mung bean had been grown in the dark and germinated in the dark. They are not capable of photosynthesis. That's why we use them for this experiment of respiration. When you handle the mung bean, make sure that you handle them gently with the blunt force up and handle them by the correlating. Measure out four grams of mung bean approximately. It doesn't have to be exactly four grams and record down the exact weight of your mung beans into your lab manual. You will need this value later on for the calculations of the metabolic rate. Secondly, wrap your biochamber in foil and transfer your mung bean into the biochamber. For the first temperature, it will be at 20 degrees. Get the tap water to fill in about 1.5 liter of your jug of the water bath. Add some ice into your water bath. To bring the temperature down to 20 degrees. Keep in mind that the temperature of tap water is at around approximately 23 degrees Celsius. So there's not much of a drastic change of adjustment that has to be done. Make sure that the temperature of your water bath remain relatively constant during the duration of the experiment. The first temperature of this water bath is 20 degrees Celsius. And that's the temperature for the first set of the experiment. When you have the water bath ready, you are ready to calibrate your oxygen sensor for the first recording. The software we need for this experiment is Lockwood Pro 3.15. You can find that under the staff menu, course application, Lockwood Pro 3.15. For setting up this experiment, we need three parts. First part is the calibration of the oxygen sensor. Second being setting up the durations of data collection. And the third part is changing the units. For the first part, under experiment, calibrate. Click calibrate now. In the first reading, Using the provided wooden stick, be pressed into the whole cow in your oxygen sensor. 
at this point, you would see the voltage on your screen decrease to close to zero. It's okay if it's close to zero at this particular case, it's 0 0.02 volt. That is completely acceptable. Under reading one, enter zero and peak. At this point, release the wooden stick from the oxygen sensor. You will see the voltage on your screen bounces back to the original volume. At this particular case, the voltage is 2.85 volts. In reading two, enter 20.9, which is the percentage of atmospheric oxygen. Click keep. Done. Step two, you want to change the durations of data collections. In experiment, data collection. For the durations of 30 minutes, one sample per minute. With the last step, under experiment, change unit. The unit should be changed to PPM or parts per million. You should see a change in the units and the values right here on the bottom left corner of your screen. Now you secure the bio chamber onto the retort stand with the provided clamp. Tie the clamp at the neck of the bio chamber snugly. Lower it down as low as possible to the water bath. At this point, you want to insert your oxygen sensor into the neck of the bio chamber snugly. It should fit snugly into the neck. Do not jam that down very tightly. Let the system equilibrate for five minutes before click the collect. The software will collect your data in the durations of 30 minutes.